What's up and welcome to this week's episode of How Not to Summon a Dungeon Master. Previously on the search for Siri. And my secret is that I robbed Sigi Reuven, also known as Dijkstra. I did this with my companion, a bard named Dandelion, and a Doppler named Dudu. Go get drunk. <laughs> Do you want to... Yeah, so basically, are you just going to kill time while... Yeah. This other plan is going on in the background. Really? Plan I want nothing. No, fantastic. I like this. There's like a montage of. Like, could you imagine like there's action scenes and it cuts to you guys eating, <laughs> eating dumplings and drinking beer, <laughs> right, and then there's like a massive chase scene and you're eating dumplings and drinking beer. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then, it's just the. It's no. It's the Monty Python. And eventually. <laughs> 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 Anybody that has a goatee is a dick. <laughs> you had one for like 10 years. <laughs> I, I carry on with what I said. <laughs> Who is we? Me and Siri. She asked for my help. She had a device. A magical orb. She said it was important. It was going to take her where she needed to go to find the person she needed to find. She mentioned uh, an elven man that had been looking for her she wanted to find him she said the device could do it but the device was broken and the only person who could help us was a man named Horson Jr no yeah, you know what the one on no the this, there's like... there's like two lifting cages at either side oh. and then it's just metal all the way around ah oh, steel cage man it's I like a this. steel cage hell yeah. in a cell cage, yeah love this and you step out and the man sitting in the chair looks down and he looks at everyone else and he's like, it's time for the first round, everybody. And we have some new contenders. We have a witcher and a dwarf. And they today are going to be fighting for the honor of serving our patron, our lord and savior himself, Mr. Horson Jr., who may or may not be here the first round of course is always the easiest though you know no offense to the men that are about to enter but everybody please welcome the trio the triplets three it's hobnob and gob <laughs> and three very skinny ginger haired guys step out from the Great, other gate. I'm fucking wail on some Weasleys. All three, <laughs> all three of them are in kilts. I've been waiting for this. <laughs> They're all in kilts. kilts. They've all got clubs. Fuck yes. Bare chested. Oh, I'm taking mine off as well. There Hob, we knob, and gob. Hob, knob, and How far gob. away are they from us? Uh, the other side of the pit. Uh, how so like big five, is ten feet. Yeah. I well, no, probably. Yeah, probably about ten. ten about 50, I'm going to say 15 feet. What, the, the size of the thing? From about end 30 to end. Do you want to say 15 30? foot all the way around. Oh, I was going to say 50 yeah. foot or 30 foot like all the way around or 15 foot across. Or 15 foot across. Let's, say, let's yeah. do that. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, and they just stand there and they're sort of doing that whole, they're put, slapping their clubs into their hands. Let me slap them. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, uh, are you fighting these guys? Uh, yeah. Okay, that's fine. 100%. That's fine. Roll initiative. Fuck yes, we are. For Hobnob and Gob. Hob Nob is about to lose the fucking knob. 24. By the way, all three of them act at once. 10. <laughs> of course <laughs> they it's do. <laughs> it's just snap, crackle and pop. What Basically. did you get? 24. Fucking hell. Did you roll a natural 20? No. Okay. I rolled a 19. My what initiative is a plus 5. Uh, 10. A 10. Mm-hmm. I, on the other hand, have no pluses to my initiative. <laughs> uh, Velamy, you are first to go. I'm instantly going to pull a pike out. Pike. Pike. I've been holding on to it oh, since shit. season one, <laughs> and I'm just going to launch it straight into the middle. I've never seen him have a pike. <laughs> okay. It's an extended one. It's like one of those telescopic things. Roll to hit. 12. Yeah, that hits. They're not wearing any armor. What's the damage? 14. Right, so yeah, you, you take your pike out as they're slapping. They're trying to build up the fans, and then all three of them turn to you at the same time, and you just launch it. As they turn to look at you, you just throw this pike. And um, one of them, it's clearly sailing towards the one in the middle. And one of them goes, <laughs> what, what? Are you going to invade all three? And then one of them, no. <laughs> one of them goes, Nob, no! <laughs> when he jumps in front. It's and, a knob kebab. And, the, 
and it, this this pike just embeds itself straight through this one as he throws himself in front of his brother, and he hits the ground dead. See, I thought you were going to like impale him into the. And back the other wall. two are like, "Hop no!" And they both drop to their knees at their brother's side, <sighs> and they look up at you because Hob's now dead. So Nob and Gob look at you. <laughs> Nob and Gob <laughs> look at you. <laughs> You'll pay for that. And they both charge at you with their clubs. All right. Fourteen. Nope. No. Uh, so <laughs> they both just charge and swing wildly, and you just step aside. <laughs> you just very faintly just dip your shoulder and dodge out the way. These guys are not fighters. Not really. They're lovers. <laughs> They were. <laughs> well, Nob and Gobba, but <laughs> <laughs> You've killed Hob. Uh, Dimdish, it's your turn. Uh, well, I'm actually just going <laughs> to... I'm going to sit this one out. <laughs> it's just... yeah, I'm, uh, I'm thinking about it. Like I don't need to. I'm going to save me spells. <laughs> I'm going to. Uh, I'll pull out my uh, mace. And we'll uh, go... I'll go and crack him on the fucking dick. On the, uh, the specifically the dick. <laughs> oh! <laughs> what did you get? Nat twenty. Oh, I right, got okay. Nat twenty. Okay. Gung. <laughs> uh, roll your damage. <laughs> I know they're wearing a kill. <laughs> roll <laughs> your damage and da- double it. <laughs> What'd you hit him with? A, a mace. Oh, fuck. And it went straight for the uppercut on the dick. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> like golf club swing. Fuck it out. I think that's 18. 18. Um, 18. Which one would you like to hit? Uh, I'm going to hit Nob in the You're knob. You're going to hit Nob in the Nob. So as you faint to the side and Nob runs past you, uh, he runs straight into a sw- upward swing of a club from the dwarf. Golf club. And it, it, you just see an eruption of fucking blood and gore <laughs> come out from underneath him. And he just drops dead to the floor. <laughs> and Gob's like, Brother, no! <laughs> <laughs> We're laughing at the, like the death of these people. It's actually quite <laughs> horrific. <laughs> you just killed these four three men. <laughs> it's dick. They got into the arena. Yeah, they about. entered themselves. <laughs> they, they didn't know they were going to die. <laughs> There's well, a chance they just get beat up and then they'd come back again. They're, the, they're, they're supposed to be the novelty. <laughs> they're the novelty act where everyone just beats easily and then they walk off. Yeah, but they, <laughs> they speared him and splattered his balls back everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Last one. Bellamy, you're up. Um, oh, just I'll look up at the, the important guy. Gob. Yeah. Uh, no, at the guy off the Oh, yeah, the chair, yeah. 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 And uh, I'll put my thumbs to the side. Oh, okay. Okay. And then He'll react <laughs> after. Gob's going to take a swing at you while you're not looking. I hope he hits. It, it, he no. does not. No, he he doesn't. can't even hit you. You're standing still. And he just swings and misses completely. Can't see through the tears and his um, brother's ball is your sack go. that's on his face. <laughs> oh, you'll hold your action, okay? And and you see the the guy there, and he's like, "Well, they're no fun when they're not a three. Dead." And he puts his thumb down. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll just pull out a sword and just roll to hit. <laughs> 20. Uh, Dirty 20. You, uh, roll your damage. <laughs> you want to press more than anything. No, I hope Nob and Gob are always going to die. <laughs> 11. Le- yeah. <laughs> you just very laissez-faire just thrust your sword into his chest uh. and give him a shh. <laughs> Can you do and it? he's like, no. <laughs> Can you do an apathetic kill? But it's... Uh, <laughs> And he <laughs> drops to the floor dead. <laughs> and two men come running out of a gate with a stretcher thing and they put him on the... <laughs> but the load the bodies up on the gurney. <laughs> oh, like the birds from fucking... Birds <laughs> <laughs> and some broomsticks. Yeah, literally. And they, they load all three bodies up and then they cart them off out of the gate again. <laughs> He's got to grab some of um, Nob. He's and everyone, everyone around is like, boo we like them. And the leader guy looks at everyone. He's like, calm down, everyone. Hobnob and Gob die every fucking week. We'll heal them up. They'll be back. Don't <laughs> worry. I can't wait to see Nob <laughs> back again. You remember what happened to you, Nob? No. They never remember. 
It's a good. They always think it's their first fight. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, how are you going to heal up Nom? Uh, Literally, he's in half. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy at the top goes, Come, 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 come. Round two. Bit more interesting this time. I want to pull my pike out of him as well. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> As they're putting him he's, on the go. Yeah, yeah. I was like, Put your foot on him and pull out. <laughs> um, he goes, Round two, everybody. It's everybody's favourite. It's the brother and sister. Ooh. It's Mark and it's, Mary. It's Mark. It's Mark and Mary, and these two people come cartwheeling out of the gate, and one of them's doing backflips, and they both land and sort of do that presentation, arms out, and everybody's cheering, and both of them have got two daggers in either hand. Of course. It's everybody's favourite assassins, Mark and Mary. And everyone erupts in applause again. Boo! Boo! We'll keep the same initiative. Okay. Bellamy, you're good. Go yeah. ahead. I just want him to pike another one. <laughs> um. And then Mary, Mark, no. <laughs> it's them again. Yeah. I'm just going to throw this pike again. I'm just going to absolutely launch it. Okay, roll to hit. Mark. <laughs> Mark. Of okay, course. we're going we for Mark. Leave Mary. leave Mary alone. She's got tits. <laughs> 26. Yeah, you hit. <laughs> 13 damage. Okay. So you launch, like, he's doing his presentation out to the side, and you're just like, I'm fucking so done. Literally. And you just throw exactly it. And as, it. As, as, he like, turns, <laughs> as he turns from presenting himself to the crowd, like Mark, like the <laughs> Hobnob and Gob did, Mark is standing there, he turns, and this pike just goes straight through his leg. And he, and he looks at his leg, and he does the Ace Ventura. I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> And he looks at you. He looks at you. He's like, ah! down the leg, bag of meat. <laughs> Won't be cartwheeling anymore. Else. I'm and, gonna need that back. And, and Mary is, like, Mary is like, don't do that to my brother. And she flies through the air doing flips and shit. Oh, doing doing flips, flips and, and shit. shit. Of course. Eighteen. Eighteen. Ah, oh, she leaps onto your back and drives her dagger down into your back. Uh. One damage. <laughs> <laughs> she does. <laughs> I say drives her dagger in. It glances off your thick, strong, <laughs> muscular neck and nicks you. The man's got no neck. It's is it Jim? Mark's holding his action. Is it? He's no? screaming. Oh, she's cool. really close, isn't she? Yes, yeah, she's on his back. Oh, cool. She's like right, right next to him. Cool. Uh, hold on. Let me just. You know, I'm a bit like you. I'm. Done with this. <laughs> I got time for this nonsense. <laughs> cool. This is this is what the city's got to offer. The best fighters in Novograd. Are you not entertained? <laughs> no. No. <clears throat> Inflict wounds. She's right there. Okay, I'm so just, just gonna put, go. You place your hand on her back. Uh, ro- is it roll to hit? It's saving throw. Yeah. Is it roll to hit? <clears throat> no, it's a roll to hit. Just trying to work out which level I want to do it on this person, <laughs> just in case. I'll, I'll, I'll go with a basic one and see how we go. Nice. 12. Yeah, that hits. Cool. Yeah. All that rolling and she's about to fucking roll to the floor. Uh, 3d10. <clears throat> that is 23 damage. She, you feel her go slump on your back as she drops off your back dead. Her <laughs> body covered in cuts, yeah. scars, just blood everywhere um, it's necrotic as well yes yeah and all the wounds are festering and, and it looks horrendous I look at the man he's still looking at his leg screaming no not that man oh you look at the man in the chair that man yeah yeah, yeah. your Ma- turn Mario. Um, I'll I'll look at Mark who's screaming and I'll look at fancy <laughs> you do the thumb again <laughs> yes <I'll> do it <laughs> thumb he looks at you and he's like well, they're no good as <laughs> when they're not there. <laughs> Sorry, they'll roll them Thumbs out down. Week. Cool. I'll uh, I'll walk up to him very casually. Yeah. And take the spirit. Mark looks at you. He looks at the de- his dead sister on the floor, and he goes, "Just do it." Cool. One what? motion, sword out, swing. Cut take his head it. off. Take his head. Okay. Uh, he offers you no resistance. You don't need to roll to hit. You take his head off. Mark drops to the floor. <clears throat> Can I walk up to where Mark's head is? And I'll pull my pike up. <laughs> I'll walk back. 
And the guy in the chair, everyone's like, oh, boo, this is shit. This isn't even lasting like seconds. <laughs> and I the guy in the chair is like, everyone calm down, calm down. They lose every week. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be back. We'll heal them up. And then the gate comes up. The two men come out again with the stretcher, load the two bodies on and the head. Can, yes, <laughs> when he's running off, the head just drops off. <laughs> and he, yeah, he got to go collect it again and then put it back on again. And they run off again. And the guy in the chair is like, look, look, everyone knows we're here for round three. Of course. It's the final are. round. Everybody wants to, you know, stay for round three because nobody ever wins round three. And he looks at both of you and he goes, are you ready for round three? Thumbs up. <laughs> Bring it in. It. And you hear this screech come from the gate. As suddenly as the gate comes up, you see the face of an owl and the body of a bear. As an owl bear steps through the gate. Let's do this. With two collars on it and two men holding it. And they release the collars and run back through the gate again. You're a son of a bitch. You know exactly what I can't do. I can't literally wrestle this one. I only do one damage. And Velomir, it's, <laughs> <laughs> Velomir, it's your turn. It's my turn. Um... I'm just going to get the stats of an owlbear up. Well, you know. Yes, I've given you an owlbear. Mm. Yeah, and I can't fight it the way I want to. <laughs> and the only damage either of you have taken is one. One. And even that was just a nick. <clears throat> Go ahead, Witcher. Oh, they're I'm tough gonna... buggers, isn't they? They are tough buggers. I'm going to pull out my... My monster sword, the silver one. Yep. And I'm going to charge. And you pull out the silver sword. Yeah. Yep. Open up with like a leaping through the air, like. Oh, you are going know, full like, fucking like, proper right. full send. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know this is a serious one. Yeah. No right. fucking around with this one. Roll to hit. <clears throat> Fifteen. The only good thing about an owlbear, it has natural armor, yeah. so you hit. It is. So I can roll... Do you want to... Oh, yeah, you can roll to see if you set it alight, yeah. Yeah, it was... Yeah. Seven. No. Nice. So just normal damage. Which is... 18. 18 damage. Noise. I got two sixes, which is fucking... So you bring your blade and it sinks deep into the neck of the owlbear as it screeches at you. And it turns and it tries to claw at you and club you with its hand. 13? Nope. Nope. So it swings and misses. And you notice you've only agitated it further as it brings its head around and tries to peck you with its second attack. That does. <laughs> yeah, it hits. It does six damage. As it sort of just nicks you with its beak as you're trying to jink and move away. You've already saw that big clubby fist come at you and you you know this is a serious game. Dindish, you're up. Cool. I uh I cast Spirit Guardians, which means a fifteen foot area yep. of this entire thing is protected by a spirit garden. Ooh. If they enter this thing, I get to choose people who are not affected by the spell. A witcher and me. Right. Any other creature in it has to make a DC 15 wisdom. I think Albert's quite good at wisdom. Oh, natural 20. Oh. Well, he's saved. So it's a half damage, no matter what happens on it. Yep. So, uh, <clears throat> hold on. Uh, his speed is half, though, no matter what. Like okay, yeah, in, no, that's fine. Yeah, slow. that's fine. You're in a very small space, so I don't think uh, that's going to yeah. matter. He moves at 40 feet. Yeah, that's so you So you're going to normal human pace. <laughs> so. Half damage. Hold on. It's not telling me. If it's a 13 and it's half, is it higher or lower? Rounded down. Rounded down. So six. Six damage? Six damage. He will have to do that save all the time that he's in this bloody thing. That's fine. Bellamy, it's your turn. Um, I am just going to... Swing away again. Yep. With a 24. It hits. Give me big numbers. 13 damage. Not, yep. Not that impressive. And then I'm going to action surge. 
Okay. So I can do another A double attack. swing? Yeah. 23. Sorry, what was that? 23. 23, you hit again. Come on, big numbers. 16. Big numbers, no whammy, no whammy. Okay. Um, the owl, but you cut in two deep wounds into this owl bear. You proper slice one of its arms. You dig deep into its ribs. And this owl bear looks panicked. It looks hurt. It's bleeding profusely. And it looks at you and it's it doesn't want it. It doesn't want anything to do with you anymore. So it looks at the dwarf and it bounds at you. Cool. Do you I get an attack, attack of opportunity. opportunity. Thank you very much. your attack range. 26 to hit. Yeah, you hit again. What's his movement? Oh, not that much damage, so only 10. Okay. Yeah, oof. Okay. He, you, you, di- you hit it's it right feet, in the back so it foot. Move 20. Okay. It bounds at you. The Witcher, it looks fucking hurt, but it looks angry. And it runs at you and it takes a swing. This isn't very fair. I'm just a poor little dwarf. 16. I think he hits, because my armor If it is matches 16. 16, it hits, yeah. If they, if they match your number, it hits. So it hits you with its fucking massive paw <clears throat> across the head. This could be a problem. I'm a tough boy, but little health. Aye. This is going to be a <laughs> 16 damage. That's half my hit points, or really. And it thumps you across the head. <sighs> and you... That the blow just shakes you to your core. It's a big hit. <coughs> and then it just thrusts its beak at you again. <coughs> 16 again. As it buries its deep, its beak deep into you. Aye. That's a different die. Okay. 13 damage. I'm down to 10. You see this, Witcher. You see this owlbear just bent over him, just absolutely clubbed him to the floor and then just <coughs> bit into him. Tear, tore into Dimdish. It's Dimdish's turn. It is. Your He's turn, me, Dimdish. Right? He is on top of you. He's bearing down on you. He's just tore into you. I'm, I'm trusting in you. I'm going to do him flick wounds. Okay. I mean, I'm it's on top of you. It's yeah. yeah. You can touch it. <laughs> I can. I could def. Oh my fucking god! You touch it. Look at the thing. That's a nat 20. Nat 20. I inflict wounds at fourth level. Okay. Roll your <laughs> damage. D- roll 12d10. Roll 12d10. That is 75 damage. <laughs> yeah, you. T- every wound that you made on this owlbear just explodes outwards as it just literally explodes. Everybody's covered in gore. The owlbear is dead. <laughs> The guys on the, the guys with the, 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 the stretcher thing, they're standing by the gate and they just go, ah, fuck it. <laughs> they just walk off. Like the birds. For, oh. <laughs> Expecting to take your bodies out this time. They were like, oh, fuck it. All right, fair enough. And uh, they just walk off. I want to walk over to it and just pull a handful of feathers out. Yeah, you take some it. owlbear feathers. And you hear from up above. <laughs> a very slow, sarcastic clap from the man in the chair. And you see standing next to him uh, this ugly, fat-nosed, skinny man with a long ponytail. And he's standing there. He's got warts on his face. And he's te- you can see his teeth from the pit. They're just gnarled and gangly. And he's standing next to him. He's whispering to this man in the chair. And then he walks off. And the man in the chair looks down at you all and he's like... Well, it looks like the fight's concluded. Um, well done. Uh, but unfortunately, everybody, Mr. Junior has decided he doesn't want these two as his bodyguard. So, uh, bye. And he just runs off. Can we get out? It's a long way out. Yeah. The gate's open. They open the gate for you, but... He's gone. He literally just legged it. We're going to kill him, right? We're going to kill him. All right. Good. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll heal myself. So, do you want to leave the fighting pits? Yeah, let's, let's fuck yeah. off. Um, are you trying to catch up with this guy? No, or? not at all. No, no, that's I'm, absolutely fine. So, as you climb your way back out of the fighting pits, you 
see before you a man waiting for you. I'm going to You've... cure wounds, by the way, on myself. Yeah, that's absolutely fine, by all means. As you're, as you're walking back through the tunnel, I'll allow you to do that. Uh, there's a man waiting for you. Um, and he's standing there. You've never seen this man before. He's got a headscarf on. Purple headscarf wrapped around his head. Um, tan skin. And like a green tunic. And he stands there, and he, and he, as you're climbing out the ladder, Velami, I assume you go first. Yeah. He puts his hand out as if to offer you a hand to help pull you out of the the sewer grate. Um, yeah, I'll take it. You take his hand, and he pulls you out. And he sees Dim Dish as well, and he offers his hand to you as well. Hey. And he pulls you both out. And hi, my name is Vernon Roach, and I've been looking for the two of you for a little while. I'm fully healed, by the way, just to let you know. No, that's fine. Why? <clears throat> Word has gotten around about the bits and pieces you've been doing, but mainly word has gotten to me that you are looking for a certain somebody, a Horson Jr. Yes. Where do you come into this? I know a man who wishes to speak with you and wishes to tell you where Horson Jr. is. And why would you be telling us this? Horson Jr. has upset one too many people in this town and we would like him gone. Would one of these Mm. be Siggy Ruben? I don't work for him, no. Mm. Who do you work for? That's on a need-to-know basis. Well, we need to know. No, you don't. Mm, we don't do anything. For I tell you that and I die, so I'm not going to tell you. I'd rather die, if that's all the same. I mean, we've got to kill him anyway. This is not the guy from the pits. This is a different guy. I know. Oh. <laughs> but I'm probably going to kill him as well. Take us to your leader. <laughs> And he leads you to the high ring. He pays the toll for you to get in. And he leads you to this, what looks like a restaurant. And as you go in, he opens the door to the restaurant. He goes, "Uh, my boss is waiting for you inside. And you walk into this restaurant. Really fancy restaurant. Empty. Nobody's in here. Except you see a man sitting at a table. Uh, you come to me. <laughs> this man is a very unassuming man. He's he's bald. And he's wearing nice clothes, but not over the top, not ornate, not anything special. He's just wearing some nice clothes. And he's sitting at the table playing chess with himself. And you see him just having a game of chess with himself at the table. Um, I'll go sit down. You go sit down. And he looks... He, he's not taking you in yet. He's looking at the board a little bit longer. And he look, and then he looks up at you and he goes... <clears throat> Can I have a look at the board as well? Yeah, yeah, you look at the chessboard. Yeah. Mm. And he looks at you and he goes... Do you know why I like chess? It's slow and boring. Because it's all about strategy. It's all about outwitting and outsmarting your opponent. And it's all about winning at all costs. You sacrifice pieces to win the game. You sacrifice the queen to take the king. It's my favorite pastime. Why am I here? Can I have a look at the board? You can, yeah. It, it's just a chessboard. Can I use insight to see the the yeah, the absolutely. Plays? Yeah, yeah. Of course you can. Can I see a winning play? Um, well, just give me a just give me a look at the board first. Uh, what perception? Yes, just look at the board first. Okay. Do you want to look at the board as well, Witcher? No, I don't care. no. Okay. Thirteen. Yeah. Uh, so the th- first thing you notice about this chessboard is is it's not black and white. It's black and red pieces. Uh, and the squares are also black and red. And you can see there are far more black pieces on the board than there are red. But you can work out that the red pieces are in a strategically better position than the black pieces, regardless of the numbers. Mm-hmm. 
he looks at you and he goes, it's come to my attention that one of the pieces has acted up recently and I cannot deal with that anymore. You wish to know where Horson is? I'll just nod at him. I despise that man from day one. What he does to those women, I don't agree with, but he was useful at the time. He's holed up in a house. I had put him up in a house in the higher ring. I'll drop the guard detail. I'll let you in. Do as you will. I don't need any more trouble in this city. And why, us? Why don't you just have your guards turn on him? Honestly, my hope is that you'll deal with your business and then leave because you've kicked up way too much fuss around here. We've got a few loose ends, but... Well, as long as they don't interfere with me, I'm not that fussed. No, we just plan on <clears throat> enjoying the property ladders around here. I mean, that's fair. There's a lot of free real estate. It's free real estate. <laughs> <laughs> and I am a witcher I require payment I'm not going to give you money to kill the man that you're looking for to kill in fact I'm doing you a favour no I think we're him. doing each other a favour and you need someone to take the fall should it go south look I could actually kill him myself it's really not an issue for me it's just I don't want gold. What do you need? I need your beck and call when I want it. My beck and call? When I need a favour to call in, I'll call it in. Just once. Okay. You have a deal. And I'll put my hand up. He shakes your hand. <clears throat> and um, he hands you over the address. Did dish anything? Or inside the board. Yes. I want to see if there's a way to uh, win instantly. Give me a roll. Depending on how good that is, we'll see. Give me an intelligence roll. Oh, an intelligence? Mm hmm. What's going on inside? Oh, I go on then. Insight. That's a 17 on the inside. 17. Not one play, but you, you <sighs> could. Possibly figure out a way for the, the blacks to rid. Can I mess up? Um, the you rid? could you could make a couple of moves that would throw him off. Okay, definitely. I want to make one that will real throw it. Okay, so you make a move on the board, and I'm and just gonna go. <clears throat> Knight to d6. And he and he looks down at the board, and he picks up the piece and moves it there, and he looks at it a bit longer, and he goes, "Ooh, an interesting strategy. I might have to remember that one. I intend to stay around a lot longer." Well, you might come in use. So may you. And you leave? Yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm going to say it's getting towards the evening of this day as you approach what looks like a little compound. Very small compound. And you approach this gate and, and there was a jester-faced man with a jester hat at it. And he looks at you and he looks you up and down and he goes... He's inside. Main building, up the stairs, he's in the bedroom. I'll, I'll just give him a, a nod and not even break my stride. Just no. carry on walking. So you walk through and you can see around you in this courtyard, there's a lot of these jester-faced men knocking around. I've got a question. Yeah. This one's out of game. Yeah. Is this like the Master of Whispers guy? Like the High Sparrow sort of thing? So... You just encountered Radovid without realising it. <laughs> we'll be back. <laughs> the chessboard the chessboard was the hint. Nilfgaard is black, Radovid is red. Fuck's sake, yeah, it was. Didn't really think about it at the time because I was too busy looking but, at the woman. You know. <laughs> that was Radovid. Underdressed. But still there talking about strategy mm. and planning and anyway you make your way through this compound you enter the house as you enter the scene before you is not a good one you see blood everywhere and as you make your way up the stairs the trail of blood continues and and 
you get to the top of the stairs and there's a woman strung upside down her wrist cut over a bucket bleeding into it clearly dead clearly empty clearly drained and you walk along the landing and another woman's body lays in the landing with lash marks across her and and large cuts all across her body where she's been tortured and cut and then you hear a scream of pain come from one of the rooms um sword out and i'm gonna run so you burst in through this door it's not locked you burst in and you see the ugly large-nosed wart-faced man again and he's in his boxes he's in his briefs and he's standing there with a whip in his hand and there's a woman tied up with massive gashes down her back dripping with blood um, and he just looks over at you what do you want i'm gonna cut his wrist off okay okay take a swing he's in his briefs oh, man like this deserves the only thing he's six yeah you I, I you don't need to roll a hit you cut his wrists off one what the hand holding the the whip the whip so you sever his hand and he just grabs his, what's left of it, the stump, and he just he screams um, and falls into the corner. I'm going to pick the whip up. Yep. And I'm going to crack it at him. <laughs> he rolls a hit again. Good. Uh, nine. A nine? Yeah, you, I mean, he's in his brief. So you, you whip him. You hit him with the whip. And he lets out a yell of pain. Who are you? I'm going to let the woman down... I'm not going to answer him. I'm just going to walk over. She's still alive. And let the woman down very gently. Yeah. So you un- undo the, the wrist restraints and you you lift her down from the bed. We're here to kill this guy, right? Yeah. Do we need anything from him? Uh, yes. The device. We do. That right. he helped Siri <coughs> fix. Okay. I wouldn't worry. I've got a plan of what I'm going to do here. How much damage did you do to him? It doesn't mean I'm not really playing damage on this guy. Cool, I'm going to heal him up. You're going to heal him? With the light wounds. Okay, so you cast Cure Light and it stops the bleeding from his wrist. Cool. So he's not going to bleed out. Cool. We can keep doing this over and over again, Witcher. I've got no complaints about it. And I I, I say that to him as well. While the guy's right here. I'll, I'll put the sword away and I'll curl the whip up. Yeah. And hold on to it. You had a visitor. An ashen-haired woman. Disappeared after using something you helped her with. Where is that something? And he looks at you and he's like, Is that, is that everything? Is that all you, you did this for that? I'm going to punch him. I'm okay. going to punch him. You do. You do. You just sock him in the face. But does he just take it? Yeah. Like he just, his head flies to the side. Yeah. We can have the dwarf hit you over and over again. It, on. It's there! It's there! And he points up on the shelf in the bedroom, and there is just an orb sitting on the shelf. Um, I'll grab it. Yep. How does it work? Ashen head bitch turned it. I want to punch him. And you, you sock him again. I'm on about, like, I'm going to proper fucking punch him. Yep. Well, no, I'll, you I'll hit teeth him, you out. You hit him hard, and teeth fly out, and blood flies out of his mouth. <clears throat> How does it work? And he spits. Watch your mouth. Two turns to the left. That's it. That's all she did. Good. I'll cut his head off. <laughs> oh, oh, hold on. <laughs> I was not finished with him here. Uh, the Witcher is swinging. Are you interrupting his swing? Go ahead. Let's just... Okay. As you're about to run swinging, I don't have time to bloody see him. Yeah, well, you've, you've seen swing. him do it a couple of times now. Oh, really? Who would have known? Mary's <laughs> cut <laughs> people's heads off out of nowhere. Hey. Somebody in this town wants you dead. Not just us. The man that let these guards of yours let us through. Who is he? The only person who knew where I was was Radovid. My face is going to change instantly, and I'm going to look at you. Bastard sold me out. I was wondering who would have wanted this guy dead other than us. That's why as well. Yeah. Because I was like, oh, why would he want him? Yeah. He said he'd cause trouble. And you never asked for that guy's I mean, never name. Asked. Or well, anything. I did. And he said, you could, oh, I'm not going to tell you. No, you asked his, the, the guy that works for him, and he was like, I'd yeah. rather die than tell you who it is. Oh, that's a good point. No. 
which gave me an inkling that this guy might be somebody, but we may have to go and visit that man. We will. But you, and I'm going to grab him by the top of his head, is this what you do? Uh, all the women around there, is this what you do? I'm just want to roll if he's clever enough to open his mouth again or not. Yeah, he opens his mouth. They're just whores. Which her? I don't know about the, the... The sword might actually be too good for him. <laughs> Why do I feel like Derek's coming back? <laughs> Go on. I... No. Oh, good. Thank oh, God. damn it. <laughs> I was hoping Derek might be back. I'm going to use the whip. Yep. And I'm going to suspend in upside down from the ceiling. There is a lot of ropes and chains and bits oh, and pieces I'll use, anyway. I'll use, so I'll use a rope then. You can chain him up. Yeah. Um, he will resist. Good poorly. Uh, yeah, no, poorly. Good luck. It's fine. Um, and I'm going to grab his jaw and squeeze. And I'm going to cut his tongue off. Okay. So you cut his tongue out while he's upside down? While he's upside okay, down. Okay, so, so you, yeah, you, you do. You, you remove Horse and Junior's tongue. And then I'm going to remove his fingers and... one by one. <laughs> Okay, one by one, you start removing. I mean, all you get is bloody splattering gurgles as you sever fingers. Um, and then I'm going to take his lower arm off, and I'm just going to wait for him to pass out. With Hold pain. on. Oh. I was going to say, yeah, <clears throat> the minute the minute you make a bigger cut on him like that, he just passes out. Cool. I'm all right with this. And he's bleeding profusely. He's going to bleed out. I'll take his arms off completely at the shoulder yeah both both of them so you do and you're pretty sure he's dead and i'm gonna hang them in front of him he's unconscious he's just yeah i, mean, I just i'm gonna tie him to his belt oh okay okay fair so enough they're, for they're display slapping himself in the face <laughs> okay fair enough with wet meaty parts of him I'm fair enough. Enough. again i i'm a holy man but I was not happy about what I came into there. Just to make sure he can't ever come back, I'm going to take his head off. And you sever his head. Then his head hits the floor with a wet... I don't know, flump. (laughs) Yeah. You got the device? Um, Yeah. I'm going to search the room for any bits of gold or anything lying around, some loose change or anything. There's quite a lot of nice stuff around here. Um, this wasn't his property. This was whoever put him up in it. Technically safe house sort of thing. Yeah. It was Radovid's safe house for Horse and Junior. Does he have a like a purse or a pouch of gold? He does. Cool. Uh, I'm going to take that and I'll give it to the woman that just survived. So you hand her 50 gold? And I will put a sheet over her head so she can't see and I will lead her outside okay and so you do you you lead this the the woman outside the the men around the compound are looking at you but they say nothing they've been told to allow what is to happen happen and they're not getting involved Uh, so you do you lead her out of the compound take the sheet off go home just go home she she does she does she is naked. Do you want to just leave her with the sheet? Uh, yeah, I'll leave her yeah, with the sheet. Okay. Yeah, okay. So she just runs She runs off down the street in the sheet with a pouch of gold. And you stand there with the, the orb, the <clears> device <throat> in your hand. We've got the device. So we're... There's one thing we've got to do, though. We know where he was. Are we going to get a better chance? We can certainly go and look. And on that note, it's time for us to chuff off. If you've got any questions or queries or just want to see what we're up to, you can find us on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook at How Not To Summon or join our Discord at How Not To Summon A Podcast. Or go to our link tree to find all our links or go to our YouTube to find all our vids. I've been your DM, Sheenie Senpai. I've been your Witcher, Grayson. I've been Dim to Stout Drinker. Face the beasts they call the dark their home Then a mare is soiled and dishes spells 
Children's potion save them from the depths of hell. Siri, where are you lost in the mist? We will not rest till you exist. Monsters fall, have sun fall. Time and again, our story told. Fang and claw, they fight with might. Determined hearts face the lifeless night Glowing eyes and breath of fire We press on through the muck and mire The man leads with strength and grace Dim dish guards with faith we embrace and the witch her magic pure Together strong, together endure Legends rise from battles they win Echoes of tales where the shadows begin Ceres voice from dreams of fall Guiding them like a distant star Guards with faith we embrace When the witch her magic pure Together strong, together in 